few days ago I picked up my Gibson Hummingbird Pro acoustic guitar from its case and I heard this odd clanging sound, almost like I had dropped a capo inside the guitar. But it didn't take me long to realize that it was actually the true mic that's part of the LR Bags Anthem SL pickup system that I have installed in the guitar. What had happened is it had come loose from the bridge plate and it was just dangling down making a lot of noise. I think it should be said right off the bat that I've always enjoyed this pickup in this guitar. I've had it installed for a number of years now and I've always gotten good feedback. For example, the audio guys at my church say it sounds great and it sits really well in the mix. And these aren't your typical Bob the Volunteer who sits in the back of the church and is the only one willing to help. No, these are professional audio engineers. So if someone like Keith Urban or Dave Matthews Band or the Lumineers comes into town, these guys are probably going to run sound for them. So you know their feedback can be trusted. And as a matter of fact, one of the guys, Gary Ford, has a YouTube channel and I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description below. So back to the issue at hand, when I realized I had a problem, my first thought was where can I take this to get it fixed? Unfortunately, where I live, there are not a lot of options. So I thought I'm probably going to have to do this myself, which is similar to a lot of the videos I make. It's a learning process and I enjoy sharing them with you guys. So I reached out to LR Bags customer service and to my surprise, they got back to me really quickly. They offered to send me some new adhesive free of charge and provided some instructions on how to reapply the true mic. And really quickly, if you're not familiar with the Anthem system, it basically consists of a piezo that goes under the bridge saddle, a small condenser mic, which is the true mic that goes in the guitar, and then around the sound hole, you have some controls. Now there is the Anthem proper that has a few more control options, and then there is the SL, which has a more simplified control layout. So let's jump into the repair. Now this is nothing really complicated. I just thought it might be helpful to someone out there, maybe give you the confidence to try it if you've encountered a similar situation. So the first step, which is hopefully pretty obvious, is that you have to detune or loosen the strings at the headstock of the guitar. Pretty straightforward here. Next, I removed the pegs at the bridge of the guitar and laid the strings aside out of the way. Now if you do this properly, you can reuse the strings, which is always a good thing. Even though I could see the true mic very well because it was just laying there, I wanted to get an idea of what else was going on inside the guitar. So I used my cell phone to video inside the guitar around the bridge area. As you can see, there is an adhesive hook for wires. Uh, there's also a wire, obviously, for the element piezo under the saddle. And then there are some leftover adhesive from the true mic. And interestingly enough, you'll see stamped into the bridge plate, it says number 11 Emmylou which I'm guessing is an Emmylou Harris bridge plate that they use on her signature model and they maybe just happen to use on other models as needed. If you have any information on that, feel free to leave a comment down below. And then also with my cell phone just sort of laying in the guitar, I tried to capture me peeling off the adhesive from the bridge plate, but with the angle and the tight space, you can't really see much, so I apologize for that, but it's kind of the best I could do. And then of course I had to remove the leftover adhesive from the true mic. Now this is harder than I thought because I didn't want to move around the wiring inside the guitar and have to reattach it. So I was kind of limited in my access to the true mic and it was hard to get my hands in there and at the right spot to get the adhesive off, but I finally got it done. So once I had removed the majority of the adhesive pads, I used paint thinner to remove any leftover stickiness or residue from the true mic and then the same with the bridge plate. Now, LR Bags actually recommends rubbing alcohol, but paint thinner is all I had and it pretty much does the same thing. Once that was done, I wanted to try some kind of dry runs to get an idea of where to place the true mic on the bridge plate. So I did that a couple of times just using feel and then visibly seeing my fingers down to the peg holes of the bridge. And then finally, I applied the new adhesive to the true mic and then stuck it to the bridge plate as best I could. LR Bags recommended applying pressure for about 30 seconds, being sure to also apply the same pressure from the top of the bridge so that the top of the guitar didn't take too much unnecessary force. As you can see, this is the final result as viewed from the inside of the guitar. Now I feel like I did a pretty good job and the LR Bags says that you don't have to be super careful where you place the true mic because it's just kind of picking up ambient sound around the bridge, but in hindsight, I wish I could have done it a little bit straighter and true to the bridge plate. I'm thinking maybe I could have used a mirror down inside the guitar to kind of view upwards and see where my hand was going. But again, it's such a tight space and even doing something like that 
or using that approach, I'm not sure I could have gotten it exactly right. Perhaps some kind of template or jig would give you a surefire method, but I think that's kind of going overboard. And again, I'm happy with my results. All right, that's it. Pretty simple. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have a soul. We'll see you next time. You are brighter than the summer sun.